Hi, and this is what I did this week as a stage manager for Fen. I started off the week by attending the Fen rehearsals on the Monday. This is where I saw a full run through with both casts. This is really important as I needed to make sure that everything they had blocked worked with the set that was currently being constructed. I also made sure that I had sourced all the props that they were using and if there were any props that I didn't know that they needed, it would give me a chance to order them or hire them in time so that it arrives before they're needed in the show. If I didn't see the full run through, then I could have missed a prop and not realised until tech week, which wouldn't have given me enough time to source the prop before the shows. I also made sure to record these full run throughs. This is so that other departments are able to see the recording and look through the whole of the blocking for certain sections of the performance without having to come to rehearsals or ask me as the stage manager. Due to COVID-19, I'm trying to reduce the amount of people that are coming to rehearsals, so recording it meant that more people can see it without having to mix the bubbles. I also made sure to record it as the lighting designers needed to start their previs and they could not do so until they'd been able to watch it and also been able to see exactly where the actors are going to stand in each scene. It will make it easier for them to complete their tasks. Also, this week I started to construct the tractor, as this is one of the main props that will be needed to be constructed. The set designer had given me the measurements that the tractor had to be to fit in with the set. However, their scale drawing wasn't detailed enough, so I created my own scale drawing for the tractor, adding in the little details that were required to make sure that it gave the impression that the tractor needed. I made sure that it actually looked like a tractor and was able for the audience to see what it was meant to be. This was needed so that I knew how big to cut each piece of wood and to create the right frame. This meant that I could see the proportions of the whole tractor to make sure it looked right with the chair on top of it. I found a platform with wheels that matched the scale drawing perfectly and wooden pallets and stacked them on top of the platform as the director had specifically said they wanted the, pra they wanted the tractor to be made out of these wooden pallets. The platform needs to be on wheels as during the production the tractor moves. I screwed in all of the pallets into this platform as a, the specific thing that director had asked. I also made sure that this was used by pallets to make sure that it matched her entire vision for the production, meaning that it was really, really important that I actually matched this vision. I then screwed the pallets, a pallet to the front of the tractor, as again, this is what the director had envisioned for the tractor, and it, this matched the reference picture that she had provided us with. I then put the chair on the tractor to make sure that the proportions of the tractor looked right and that it would be tall enough using just pallets in case I needed to build a slightly higher platform to make the proportions look better. I then put the tyres onto the tractor. This was quite difficult to put them on directly onto the tractor. Therefore, the large tyres we built a wooden frame to attach the tyre to to then make it easier to be able to attach it to the tractor. This then makes sure that it's really secure and made sure that the structure is a lot safer for the actors to use. After attaching the tyres, I spoke to the LX team as they were thinking about how to light the tractor and how to make it look more realistic. This is when we came up with the idea of using birdies to create a headlight effect on the tractor, as this fixture is very small, lightweight and actually looks like headlights. However, this requires for the tractor to have power. This then means that I needed to find a way of putting a battery into the tractor. I spoke to the LX team about the best way to do this and sawed a small hole to put the battery into and created a case out of MDF to keep the battery safe and so that the actors cannot touch it. Overall this worked well as now the tractor has power and later on in the week we'd be able to see if this would work with the birdies. I also worked with the LX team to sort out the best way to project onto the TV as this is what the director required. This meant that I had to do some experimenting to find out the best way of doing this with the AV team, consisting of the LX team and the sound designer. After experimenting, we created a technique that would work, and I sent the video of this to the director to make sure that she was happy with this, as we needed to make sure we were matching her vision. I had a meeting with the director this week, however, it was a little different as she wanted to see what was being constructed and what props had already arrived. She combed around to every department to see what we'd been up to and so we could show her everything that had been constructed or ordered so she could give her feedback on what had already come or what had already been built. I showed her the props and that had already been sourced and she gave my feedback about what she liked and what and she did inform me that she wanted some more phones to be made out of wood and painted black so that she could have more phones for the transition of scene 3 into scene 4. This however was the only slight change in the feedback. 
She also looked at the tractor and really liked this. She had no concerns regarding this. During the meeting, we maintained social distancing at all times and made sure that we were wearing our masks at all times, sticking to the current guidelines of COVID-19. The final thing I did this week was putting props away in my props cage, as during the two-week break, there was a lot of props that I had ordered that had arrived. So I made sure to put these into my props cage so that they are safe and away from all of the other props for Fen and not mixing it up with the other acting shows. This means that I can keep track of what has arrived and what I still need to order for the shows. And that is what I did this week as a stage manager for Fen.